Welcome to an exciting tutorial that will revolutionize your Android experience. Get ready to embark on a journey as I'll show you how to install Ubuntu with the sleek and powerful Buji desktop right on your Android device. Whether you're a developer, a Linux enthusiast, or simply looking to explore new possibilities, this video is your getaway to a world of endless possibilities. So get your Android device, fasten your seatbelt, and let's dive into the exciting world of Ubuntu with Buji on Android. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on the latest tech tutorials and hacks. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to update Tamox packages. Do that with the pkg update command and click on enter, okay? That is going to update Tamox packages. And after that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install Pirate distro. To install Pirut distro, use the command pkg install Pirut distro. And once Pirut distro is installed, we are going to head directly to the installation of Ubuntu. Install Ubuntu with the command Pirut distro install Ubuntu. Now that command is going to install Ubuntu and it is going to take a while. As soon as Ubuntu is installed, log in to Ubuntu with the command Pirut distro login Ubuntu. Okay. Now that you're logged into Ubuntu, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to update our Ubuntu repositories. Do that with the apt update command. And once the repository is updated, we're going to head over to the installation of the Buji desktop. So you're going to do that with the command apt install Buji desktop. And then we're going to install Genome Flashback, okay? And of course, we're going to install DBoss, okay? So do that with the command apt install Buji desktop DBoss x11 genome session flashback okay this installation is going to take a while but once the installation is complete the next thing we're going to do is we're going to you know remove the bash rc file and you know customize it because um our local host team is not looking very pleasing so remove bash rc then copy a new bash rc file from the etc forward slash scale directory and copy it to your home directory so do that with the command chain on your screen right now and then you know click on enter now we're going to exit ubuntu by the time you log in again you're going to see that the local host team is different so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to proceed to the installation of genome terminal which is a very cool terminal and then we're going to install new fetch okay do that with apt install genome terminal new fetch command you're going to wait for the installation to complete and once the installation is complete the next thing we're going to do is we're going to edit a manual startup script for our vnc do that with the command make dir.vnc then you're going to create the startup script with the nano command so type the command nano.vnc forward slash x startup okay and paste this script in the you know windows that comes up i'm going to paste this script and every other script i'll be using in this video and all the commands in the description below so make sure you check them out in the description the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give the startup script executable permission do that with the ch mode plus x command okay and then click on enter and now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a command that lets us connect to an open tcp protocol okay so um let's head to that now the first thing we're going to do is you're going to type the command nano forward slash user slash local forward slash bin then we're going to name that command we're going to name it the start server command because that is the command we're going to be using to start our vnc server you're going to paste this script in that command i'm going to be leaving this script also in the description okay now save this script and then um, give this script executable permission okay with the ch mode plus x command and then click on enter now that this is done the next thing we're going to do is let me show you what is inside the script cat and as you can see it is just a simple command that you know connects our vnc server to an open tcp protocol the next thing you're going to do is you're going to create a new session to tamox and once that is done you're going to install x11 repo okay do that with the command pkg install x11 repo which is the x11 repository 
after installing x11 repository the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install tiger vnc which is our vnc package and then the next thing we're going to install is the x server okay you're going to install that with the sorg xhost command okay now after installing this we're going to create a custom script for starting our vnc server now to do that type the echo command and then you're going to type this command inside the echo command which is the vnc server dash listing then we're going to tell our vnc to listen to a tcp protocol in the ratio one which is localhost one and then we're going to make that connection public by using the command display is equal to ratio one x host plus so this command is going to make you know the tcp protocol public to every package that wants to connect with the localhost one okay now we're going to save this command in the pin folder okay and we're going to name this command connect vnc after that the next thing you're going to do is you're going to give this command executable permission you're going to use the ch mode plus x command of course and then you're going to click on enter now that that is done let me show you what this command looks like inside it as you can see it says vnc server listen tcp and then all of that so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to type that command connect vnc and it is going to connect us to you know vnc server but if you're doing this for the first time it is going to request a password make sure you use a password you can easily remember log into ubuntu and type the command start server and that is going to connect you to vnc okay now launch your net Untax x application change your connection type to ultra vnc and in the vnc connection settings your the name of your server will be localhost and here you're going to paste one and then in your vnc password use the vnc password you created in tamox earlier which is the tiger vnc password and then click on connect and as you can see we have been connected you know to our bougie desktop but as you can see the wallpaper isn't that looking beautiful okay so to change this background wallpaper right click on your screen and click on change background but in some cases the background changing window might not pop up okay so if you're experiencing this error just like i am right now right click on your screen again and click on open terminal now that your terminal is open you're going to type the command as i am typing it right now though i'm going to be pasting it in the description below to make it easier for you okay so you're going to navigate to the background directory manually by using the command cd forward slash user slash share slash backgrounds okay and then you're going to print the working directory of the background folder and you're going to copy that working directory now after copying that working directory you're going to go back to your home directory and you're going to give the home directory permission to you know access the background directory so you're going to use the command ln s then you're going to paste the working directory of the background folder there and as you can see when we now type list we now have the background folder there so now click on your uh, menu icon and click on files and you're going to wait for the file window to come up now once the file window comes up you're going to see the background folder in the home directory click on backgrounds and you know from here you can select any wallpaper of your choice and set it as your background wallpaper so just right click on any wallpaper of your choice and click on use as wallpaper and that is it your wallpaper is going to change okay remember this is if you're getting error from you know the right clicking method of changing your background folder so um this is how you install ubuntu with the buji desktop on your android device I'm going to be making videos on softwares and package installation in the future. So please, if you found this video interesting and helpful and you want to see those videos, click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so that you'll be notified when those videos come out. So um, to the most important aspects of, you know, using Tamox and Tamox GUI. When you're done using your GUI, it is important to kill your VNC server. I always mention this in every video I make. To kill your VNC server, head back to Tamox and, you know, open your terminal back to, you know, Tamox itself and then type the command VNC server dash Q ratio 1, which is the localhost one. Make sure you kill your VNC server and once the VNC server is killed, you wouldn't encounter any error if you try reconnecting again the next time. So to connect again, just simply type connect VNC on Tamox and start server on Ubuntu. If you stayed this long, thanks for watching this video till the end and drop a comment below if you have any question regarding this video. I'll make sure to reply you as soon as I see the comments, okay? 
thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye